the head of the Stanford University said, if you pull this off, there's a technology game changer with a huge impact on the industry. Every single business leader I talked to after that said, if you pull this off, it is a game changer. Bill McDermott, our co-CEO, said, I need this instantly. This is how we have to run sales. And I hope that despite we don't manufacture, manufacturing like you do manufacturing, that probably in software development we might get a little bit of this as well, that we get transparency where we are and how we go in this um, more formal way. I believe this will change how we work. It is technically feasible, and I want to go now back to what I actually wanted to do to brag about the great attributes of such a system. I had another demo, but uh, actually I, I did a little drawing here this year. No, go, go give me the camera. That, that is a sketch for a system. Uh, a sales analysis, and I want to have the, the fever curves uh, and, and change the scale and change the products and change everything and, and, and do this stuff. And a student developed it for me. And it's actually on real data, and uh, I could play with it. Orders. And. and Uh, the, the, the year and per month and look at the data and I can get in the target data and compare it with the target data. And then the guy slipped out of my hands. I forgot that the, the semester is over and now he is somewhere in the Andes walking. <laughs> and he will come back. <laughs> But I sit here with my demo. The other guys here helped. I, yesterday I asked, who can program Apple? And a few said, I, I could try. So it is an application. You want to see what happened in Belize? Then you get Belize. That's very interesting. Um, actually, these are real numbers. And I'm, I'm wondering why business is so ragged. I don't know, Bill. Is our business also so ragged? Is that? You, you, have to, <laughs> you have to smooth that out a little bit. So I did only this here. Actually, there's a second page, this, this little here. And I got it. I have never seen the guy. I don't know how he looks. I only know that he's in the Andes. Um, when he comes back, um, then, then we will continue to work on. Because the idea was that the IT people, the computer science people, they have to get a little bit of feeling how to work with data, and, and I think it's fun to work with an Apple front end, because you see there's still work to do. Despite the information is all there, there's not a data processing issue, this is now a presentation issue. So back to what is feasible. I just want to fly through, probably not even touch. Instead of having many indices in a traditional database, we have fewer indices because each column in a column store is an index. Actually, when they hear the SAP insiders talk about the database, they talk about indexes, indices. It's actually the data and the columns can be used as indices. Any attribute is an index. Uh, how do we achieve the transactional speed? We only insert at the end of a table. We do not insert like in a normal relational row-based table uh, between and split intervals. We always it in the end. We have a combined column and row store system, which is pretty unique. Uh, if somebody has another one, please let us know that we can contact the company. Uh, we, have, we don't want to have materialized aggregates anymore. We do them on the fly. We calculate everything on the fly. If this is not sustainable for some areas, there could be. We have already theoretical uh, or potential for that research at the ETH in Zurich. Uh, for airlines, uh, is, is an Amadeus system. They have some concept where they need materialized rules. Yeah, for sure, we can do that. It is just that we want to push this out as far as possible. We use minimal projections. Only the columns we use for a program are being accessed. 
and this is extremely fast. Um, we can partition, we can partition in multiple partitions. Um, this is too difficult to explain you now. One you have to understand instantly is tenants, a multi-tenant system, and uh, the system will split by tenants, and um, we can, but we can do other splits as well. The bank split by customer numbers or names because most of the transactional stuff takes place inside one customer. Very important thing, we can backdate analytics. We can time travel back and forth because we do not change data. We always insert a new record and flag the old one. So we have the whole development of an order, the whole development of any business object in the system. We can do single and multi-tenancy. We have one SQL interface for columns and rows. This is pretty unique, and we can do joints back and forth and unions back and forth. We distinguish between active and passive data store. Um, very easy. Every secretary, when you watch a secretary, they have, she has the stuff she's working on, and she has the stuff she has worked on. And it stays on the desk for some time, and when the boss is gone, she takes that and puts it away and files it. And then it's filed and nothing happens anymore. We haven't done this in our systems. We have to do this. And this is a concept which is, can be fully handled inside the database with stored procedures. Not even the, app, the application knowledge has to, be, um, has to be incorporated, but it doesn't have to go back to the application. Huge, huge uh, uh, reduction in size in a database. We can reduce layers. We use the multi-core parallelization, the compression you heard about. Price performance will go down. And we have an object to relational mapping. So when somebody tells you the, super, the, the, the world in the future is object-oriented, yes, this by design system is completely object-oriented. And therefore, SAP had its hand for the last two and a half years uh, for all the ones who want to write about SAP. Yes, that is one of the reasons why we need it over time. Um, we have a very nice object to relational mapping in the system, and if you want to have details, you can get them. 